previously maybe Bait is the dragon, the dragon prince. prince. Oh, maybe it's just a mirror. It's not just a mirror, Claudia. Artifacts and relics in the lair of the dragon king and queen. They kept this close to where they slept. It must be important. Maybe they just like to look at themselves. Something's wrong with the egg. Sit on it. The healer lives up there, the cursed caldera. You'd rather climb this cursed mountain than just try sitting on it, like nature intended? They'll never make it out alive. They're gonna make it out alive. They got Rayla, super athlete. Na, 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 na. Yes, I do this every time. It's so beautiful. Chapter 8, Cursed Caldera, aka Coldwater Creek. Ooh, dramatic start. That music, though. So how are we supposed to find this miracle healer? Oh, nice. I'll help you find her. Wow. I'm Alice, and this is Ava. She's a wolf. Wolf? Really? I thought bird. Was that sarcasm necessary? Alice, this is Rayla, who we originally met because, uh, well, she broke into our castle trying to kill Ezrin. True story. We're past that now. Right. I like how Ellis is not making any kind of big deal about the fact that Rayla's an elf. Maybe because an elf saved her wolf. Or maybe she's just a great person. Could be that too. I like that better actually. Don't worry about my hand. The egg is all that matters now. Wow. Very mature. <laughs> Ezra's face. Can humans and elves have kids? <laughs> I know that's a random thought to be having right now, but... It's like the sky is painted with honey. Wow. <laughs> Too bad it also means the nightmare's about to begin. Yeah, I was wondering where all the cursed stuff was. Blood curdling. Creepy, but in a super extreme way that feels like it's lighting your soul on fire. Sounds fun, let's do it. Flash, woof, whoosh, slish slash. Um, is he okay? <laughs> Finally cracked under the pressure. Uh, yeah. You hold bait in the air so we can flash and blind whatever monster it is. Ava will bark and you'll ride around in circles to confuse the monster. I'll use my wind breath spell. Slish slash. My hand is in pretty bad shape. I'm only gonna be able to use one blade. Okay. Just then you're slish just then. Slash. Slash. Right. This is my slish hand. Uh, really? No, not really, dummy. <laughs> Haven't seen Viren in a while. Brought you some butterfly crack. If you don't eat, you'll die. I am already dead. Oh, he has the armband too. Right. I understand the whole honor and not eating thing, but at least drink something. You drink it first. Excuse me. <laughs> this guy. I'd love to try some Zadian fruit. Ouch. No leverage. I think the scariest thing I've seen so far is an angry cricket. Did we accidentally wander up Humdrum Hill? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we took a wrong turn and wound up on Sleepy Slope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to check my map, but I'm fairly certain I recognize the unmistakable no, topography stop. of Mount Monotonous. No, it's one too many. <laughs> the cricket. That was perfect. He was waiting there. It's a bite mark. You're right. Something's drained all its blood. Yeah, you guys had to make all that noise. <laughs> Oh no, this is not going well. <laughs> oh no, the cricket! Damn, I liked him. Hop on! Evil will get us out of here! Did that dog just run vertically up the hill? I've brought something. The thought of Viren dragging this mirror through the entire castle is hilarious. <laughs> Were there stairs or something? How do you get it up here? This isn't a bribe. It's a threat. Go on. Take a closer look. You're a monster. You're mistaken. I'm a pragmatist. What was it? Everyone messes up sometimes. Or in my case, all the times. 
What are you talking about? Trust me, if the plan hadn't gotten messed up when bait flashed, I'm sure it would have flopped when it was my turn. That's not true at all. You're awesome at everything. Yeah. I hesitate. Think too much. Get confused about the right thing to do. And the next thing I know, I failed. But she's talking about killing Ezrin and she didn't do anything wrong there. I can't believe you're a mage. I've never met an actual mage before. You're not at all what I expected. What were you expecting? You know, taller, long robes. Oh no. <laughs> and you're so confident. Is he? The morning I came to your castle, my team was discovered by a human guard. It was my job to chase him down and stop him. This takes me back. And then I just let him go. I don't know why. Because you felt for him. But he was a human. My enemy. Alright, so this is obvious to everybody except for Rayla, but this is not her path. Like, she's not a killer, she's a really sweet person. And her hesitation launched her on this incredible journey where she's gonna do way more good than she ever could have done killing that guard or Ezrin. She may very well be responsible for breaking this entire cycle. So for her to get hung up on this fact, the only thing I can really think of that makes her credible is she's somehow extrapolating that into a more pervasive thing where she will always hesitate when it counts. But like, I feel like it's not the case. She's had an awakening and she's lucky to have had that. But I'm sure Ezrin will set her straight. Ezrin knows what's up. Yeah, but then you saw he was scared. And you knew he was a person, just like you. Right, you tell her, Ezrin. Thanks for failing at your mission. <laughs> right. Alive. Yeah. I'm glad you're alive, Ezrin. Knowing you is definitely worth losing a hand for. That's the weirdest, nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Well, Fair. who knows? Maybe this is my unlucky hand, so when it falls off, my luck will change. I like this Ezrin Rayla bonding time. It's sweet. Without you, it's just a neat, glowy ball. I see it's pep talk hour on the Curse Caldera. The older kids are getting pep talks by the younger kids. But without this, I'm nothing. Just a guy who can draw and make wry comments from time to time. Well, the drawing, you know, that's good. The other stuff, he's good at drawing. <laughs> he's very good at drawing, but also he's kind. Callum's a really kind kid. I feel like his failings are not really failings, it's just him being young. You know, he's just young and inexperienced. He's lived in a castle his whole life. He's never really had much need to learn sword fighting or horse riding or whatever because he's kind of pampered, as Viren pointed out. This is him in the process of coming into himself. So, you know, these things take time. I get the sentiment, you know, like, it's really easy to go down this road and find a list of all the things that you're not because there's an endless amount of things that you're not at any given moment. But I think the mistake is thinking that those things are pervasive to you and like, that's your identity. When really nobody is born perfectly formed, it just takes time to have the experiences and to eke out gains for yourself gradually through action and through conscious thought and through like correcting and, you know, it's like a long, process but it's hard to have that perspective at your age because life is so short all of life is encapsulated right in this moment i don't know i think it's possible to observe your weak points without thinking that that somehow constitutes your entire being there's always more to it than that and it's easier for other people to see that i have a feeling you'd be pretty amazing even without your magic ball well you seem pretty great too and ava's also great it's probably gone but let's not taunt it okay it's coming back Maybe that's how things work in stories, but in the real world... But now they have confidence! <laughs> they can do it! Well, she's running around. This thing is not very good at hunting. Just saying. How is it alive? Do the thing! The plan! As in bait! You're up! I feel like you just skip the woof and go right to the zap. Here goes nothing. Fulminous. Nice. I feel kind of bad for this thing. Rayla, finishing move. You got this. Slash. Oh no, this is what she was afraid of. She hesitated. For a second, and then killed it. There you go, I got to do both spells. You have found something worse than death. What's going on? I always seem to capture the same expression. Defiance. Giving way to absolute fear. We trapped him in a coin? Oh no. 
What is it? I have really bad news. Even if we make it to the rim, it doesn't matter. There is no miracle healer. Wait, did he just understand that wolf speaking? So he really can talk to animals. That's what just happened, right? Wait, so how did the wolf get healed? What? Come on. Oh, nice. He found the elf man. He's got a stack of those coins, huh? So I guess Ellis is going to be a longer term character. Ellis and Ava. That's cool. I didn't expect that. And like both of the older kids needed a pep talk, I guess. And then also some real weirdness with Viren. First of all, the dedication of him dragging the mirror all the way into the prison. I feel like there were probably some stairs involved along the way, but he made it work. And then the elf became a coin. There's just a lot of weirdness with Viren in this episode. And I still have no idea what the mirror is, but I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. But anyway, that's the end of episode 8. I'll see you guys very soon for episode 9.